Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 99 in VirtualBox or VMware. Now this is basically a created version uh, based off of Windows 98. Um, so, um, this is basically uh, changes everything, even the boot screen, they changed it to uh, Windows 99. You'll see it in the video, but what you need to do or what you have to do beforehand is you need to install Windows 98 and um, I have a video tutorial on how to do that and I'll link it in the description and um, you guys can go watch that and then come back to this video to install uh, Windows 99 so let's go ahead and begin so when you're creating the machine before you install Windows 98 if you don't know how to do that just do uh, that and then select Windows 98 as the uh, not 95 98 as the version hit next I gotta change the name and then leave the RAM where it is leave the hard drive where it is and then you can start with uh, uh, the setup of Windows 98 so once you get that finished uh, you'll want to go to the uh, virtual machine and you want to insert the Windows 99 ISO given in the description so mine is located in here and then what you want to do is I don't know if it'll pop up automatically I don't think it no oh, it might it looked like it was loading it for a little bit but if it doesn't just go to uh, my computer and then after that loads it's actually kinda it's taking a little while Okay, sorry about that. I was having a little bit of issues here, but um, I believe I already did this, but I'll do it again. Uh, put in the uh, Windows 99 ISO and go to My Computer and go to Win 99 and then go to Setup. It'll do the NT 4.0 boot up sound. Uh, they did a really good job of changing everything on here. It says, "Excuse me." It says uh, Windows 99. Excuse me. Windows 99 up here. Windows 99 there, 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 um, here as well. So to say, it strongly recommends that you quit all Windows programs before continuing setup. Um, so just click OK, and then click Next. Here to install into the C drive. That's going to check your system and check your uh, hard drive. And uh, go ahead and just do typical setup and hit next. Hit next again and then install the most common components. Hit next. Choose your uh, location and look at they still even they change everything. Windows 99, Windows 99. They did a really, really good job with this. Hit next, and then go ahead and hit next to start copying files. So it'll copy the uh, files for Windows 99. So just let that go for a little bit, and then it should uh, ask you for a reboot. So I'll be right back until we uh, get to that point. Okay, so it'll hit the restart point. So just hit restart now, and you'll probably want to take out the ISO. Well, actually, just okay never mind what you need to do is if you get this error you need to shut down your machine this happens with Windows 95 too so don't worry go ahead and hit settings system acceleration and then uncheck enable VTX AMD V uh, that's basically what it kinda does now for the newer operating systems it uses that kind of uh, hardware in order to do it um, and it doesn't uh, and older uh, operating systems can't use that kind of hardware so um, then when it goes to that just hit normal and you saw the boot up as Microsoft Windows 99 so they changed that too and it actually looks pretty nice so now it'll go into the next part of the setup
of like setting up hardware, installing drivers and all that stuff, and it'll do the uh, control panel stuff, programs on the start menu. You'll see it on the right side coming up here in just a minute. Um, but um, I seen this tutorial. I have seen this tutorial out on um, MS Gill's channel. Um, so I figured I'd give him a shout out because he does VirtualBox tutorials like I do, and he um, it's always nice to see him post videos. And um, he gave me a shout out on his channel. So I figured, you know what, let me return the favor. I probably should have done that a long time ago, so, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, but I think I'll still, I hope he still appreciates it, but I'll link his channel in the description. Check him out. I really think you should go sub him. He uh, makes VirtualBox tutorials like I do. Um, he has a video also called uh, How to Get 256 Colors. Um, in like Windows 95, 98, and Windows 2000, Windows Me. Check that out. Um, I mean, he does the same things I do. I mean, because um, I was going to do this uh, tutorial uh, in a future video, but he already beat me to it. Um, but, you know, we've been kind of going back and forth on what to install and stuff. But, um, yeah, if you're watching this to this point, um, MS Gill, uh, if we could, maybe someday we could do a collab or something, maybe do like a collab on an install, I don't know, so I figured I'd just give him a shout out, uh, there'll be an annotation, uh, you'll probably have already seen it by now, there'll be a link in the description to subscribe to him, go check him out, so, while this is loading, uh, I'll pause this and I'll be right back once we hit another screen. Literally right as I paused it, we hit this restart screen, so we're just going to do that and restart. So that was perfect timing. And then you'll need to, it'll reboot, and you see right there, Windows 99, look at that. Look at how um, that's just put in there like that. I mean, that's insane. So if this comes up, just hit any key to continue. Doesn't really matter there. Okay, so if you already get that error and you press any key to continue and the machine shuts down, I totally forgot about that. Just restart the machine and it'll go back into setup as normal. I'm not sure why it did that, um, but it'll just right, continue right back to the setup just as normal. So um, it says estimated time remaining is 11 minutes. It definitely will not take 11 minutes to do it, but uh, now it'll just go into setup uh, more hardware and everything like that. So uh, just go ahead and just let it sit for a little bit. And I'll see you guys when we hit another screen or restart point. Okay, so we'll keep going through the setup with the control panel programs on the start menu, Windows help, MS DOS program setting, and I can't, I don't remember what that says. Can I move this window? I sure can. Okay, tuning up application start and system configuration. So that's what it's on right now. It'll say updating system settings, and that should take a while. I'm not sure if there'll be error messages that come up or not, like Windows 98 did. Um, but when you go to my Windows 98 video, um, there should be a new ISO link. Like for people that have seen my Windows 98 tutorial, I put a new link in the description to a new ISO because the old one um, that I used before, it wouldn't let me do like my computer in the start menu and everything. So I put a different ISO, Windows 98 ISO that I had in and it worked. Um, it actually didn't have as many errors as the other one did so I decided you know what I'm gonna put that in a RAR file depends uh, at the time of this video uh, the poll still hasn't come out yet but um, so none of these ISOs would be released until after the poll is finished um, to see if there would be a password or not as well as add fly links so um, yeah um, if I do different links they'll probably just be like redirect links from like bit.ly or goo.gal I don't know how you say that geo.gl from Google um, I mean Google has their own URL shortener so I think it'd be perfect so just let this sit for a little while if there's any error messages that come up just hit OK or cancel or whatever it says up there and I'll be back with you guys 
in a little bit. Okay, so if there's dialogues that come up, I don't know if you saw that there. I might have gotten it a little bit, but there'll be some dialogues that come across the stream that'll be installing stuff. Don't worry about that. That is just more of uh, the stuff that's being installed from Windows 99 from the creators that did this. Um, so it's just a little bit different, and it'll keep going through the updating system settings. So just let it run a little more. I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so then reboot after uh, it's finished, and then uh, it should load up into Windows 99 once it gets all booted up. So, setup shouldn't take too long. So, if it, I mean, if it sits here like this for a little bit, just don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Right about, probably now you could probably take out the ISO. If you want. So it'll come to this screen and it'll load up the login, I believe. So unless it takes a little bit maybe it will so it'll eventually say building driver information database so just let that go through that shouldn't take too long and then hopefully it should load up into Windows 99 I'm not too sure if it will or not so now it'll say updating system settings after a while and it still says up on the top Windows 99 setup so they are still they got all out and changed every little Windows 98 thing to Windows 99, which I am very impressed by. I think they did a great job on this. I am really, really impressed. So I let the setup or the startup sound go through. Um, still the same, obviously, but there you go. It looks basically exactly similar to Windows 98, but they just changed everything. And there you go. It says it's about. Uh, um, double desktop has been installed on here so if you have like a um, I think it's like I'm not really sure what this is to be honest I don't really mess with this a lot I think you can have two different desktops or something on here so um, I mean this is a really really simple tutorial this one is a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be that's okay. I um, yeah, I didn't really know if it was going to be long or not. So, yep, I guess that's what it is. You can go to different desktops. It gives you two desktops in one. So that's kind of nice. That's actually kind of nice that that program's on here. Um, so there you go, guys. That's how to install Windows 99 in VirtualBox or VMware. If I go to WinBur, there you go. It says Windows 99, but the copyright date changed from... 99 to 98 so I mean it's whatever but there you go guys that's how to install Windows 99 in VirtualBox or VMware thank you guys for watching um, like I said there will be a link in the description there was an annotation earlier to go ahead and go to subscribe um, MS Gill's channel um, that'd be very much appreciated if you did that because he does the same videos I do and he makes great content so go check his channel out subscribe to him and uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed and uh, if it helped you out, share the video so that uh, other people can uh, watch this tutorial. Uh, comment your ideas down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.